from the book Temple of Love, page 121. The chapter is called Why You Come to Vrindavan. Why you come to bring them? <laughs> Much more deeper than before. More desire is coming. Because it was disconnected, so more desire is coming now. Senses become more strong. For that moment, it was nothing. Everything is pure and connect it again. You see, this is the nature of the devotion. It moves like a snake. Sometimes a very high mood, sometimes low mood. One is the spark, and one is the dark. When association is missing, like an old man, and nobody is taking him out from his chair, and nobody is helping me to walk, so that is my fallen condition. <clears throat> In my spiritual life, darkness is there, and I have no energy, and nobody helps me to again to start in the spiritual way. <laughs> I start creating many diseases, means material disease. When you increase your eagerness, Vrindavan will help you again to develop more greed. Because that association is there. Everybody is talking about Rade Rade, bringing me up to walk again, give energy. <coughs> Others give energy and mercy. Sri Rupa Goswami's successive visions have stopped now. And the sky of his heart becomes covered by dense darkness of humility and lamentation as he anxiously cries out. Speaker out. Because voice is not coming. Or you will change your mind. Why is not clear? It's not clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So the quote again, I think, from the Kalika Valerie. Shri Rupa's Vani's successive visions have stopped now, and the sky of his heart becomes covered by dense darkness of humility and lamentation as he anxiously cries out. To cry means greed for that in my lamentation. We have to cry means we have to be fit for that. If there is no lamentation, it means there is no greed. I am not crying. Why? Because I am not thinking on that. She, Wandi Roki, is coming again to Vrindavan. Why? Because she has grief for that. Because Vrindavan will fulfill my hopes. This grief. Why I am living in Vrindavan? Because Vrindavan will fulfill my desires. He cannot live anymore without directly seeing the divine couple. Rupa Goswami. Gurudev, I cannot live without direct seeing. How I can see direct? With my spiritual identity or spiritual eyes. It is very clear. This is the material thing. My body is material. I cannot see Krishna. Material cannot see spiritual. My senses cannot see. My mind cannot see. But when my mind will connect with my spiritual identity, then it becomes pure. My mind has to move one pointed. Chitta vritti means the one pointedness of the consciousness. Then by association and mercy, that practice will become pure. And then I will develop my spiritual identity, spiritual form, spiritual identity of the soul. <coughs> That one can see. My Manjari Swarup can take shelter of Swami by Gurudev's Kripa. 
and serve in Vrindavan. <laughs> Again, the quote. The Acharyas, whose very life is the service of Sri Radha's lotus feet, practiced this themselves and also taught the conditioned souls that one must follow in the footsteps of the eternal perfect people of Braja and think like them if one wants to attain the loving service of Sri Yugala Kishore. Guru Day. This is the life of the Acharyas, Radha's lotus feet. Why did Mahaprabhu come? To take Radha's lotus feet, Radha lotus feet. No other way. If you want to attain the service of Yubala Kishore, you have to follow one of Rasika Bhaktas. By association, who is practicing Radha Dasya, they will realize this automatically. No need for any other effort. <laughs> Only do this. Absorb your mind in the custom of the people of Braja. Guru Dev. Custom of Braja. What is the custom? There are different customs. You go to any Brajpasi, you say you are worshipping Krishna, he is God. He will say you are crazy. He is my son. He is my lover. He is my brother. This is the custom. I give every day my love. I give every day my food. I give water. I give the sweets. Bring to bed. This is the custom. Only think of the custom of Raja. Only to cook and give. You will cook. No? Then you are not in custom. If you are cooking, you are doing as the custom of Raja. That you will have to connect. You have to forget to think about God and philosophy. This is the custom of Raja. If you want to be in relation, but our thoughts outside of the Raja Bhumi is to know about the God consciousness. Because I'm not interested in the real Raja Bhumi. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Rabunath said also, all Acharyas are telling, you have to come in the Braja Bhumi Vrindavan and you have to learn the custom from the Bridge of Asis. You have to read your Western customs, but you don't want to read your country. Because you want to be in that old custom. God, for the God consciousness, to know the philosophy is a very good place to be. But this can limit you to philosophy. And then you cannot develop relationships in the modern Your greed will not come to become a Radha Dasi. It will be only as a Krishna Das, thinking about it. But you cannot go more deeper into it. You can become cow. Cows, even they know mother and father. Okay, you can be a cow with Krishna. But the sense desire will not go without Radha Dasya. You can become free, mountains, show me any other rasa, Yashoda Mai, the Vatsalya rasa. How Krishna can do this alone, rasa? One has to give to him. He needs Radhika, friends. Without friends, how rasa, the taste of loving exchange will come. A mother without rasa will not come. <coughs> Lovers without rasa will not come. They are important here in Braja. This is the culture of Rindam. This desire has to run to Vrindavan, not available in the European world. You have to follow, then you are senior. Prabhupada brought it, the mood of Raja. Ten years you live, you will become rich Basi. Why? Because of the mood of rich Basi. 
they have a normal life, you see. All bridge passes. But after that, they are fully connected with Radha Dasyam and Krishna. Absorb your mind in the custom of the people of Raja. Not in sannyasi like me. The customs of Raja, you have to learn with the Prajpasis, with the Radha Dasis. They will teach like that. The teachers will come with a Rasika saint who is full of rasa. Why you differentiate Ananga Manjari as different from Radhika, who can become one Anga, one body, non-different. Only Radhika. When you differ Ananga and Radhika as separate, then you will never understand. She is not a Manjari. She is like Radhika herself. She is being herself where Radhika cannot go in the form of Ananda. Kaya Vyuha. Same. She is the same there. Like us, we are in the bodily material concept. But as the super soul, Krishna is there. How we got the love? It is Radhika's mercy. That love is coming to me and that I share it with others. But slowly, slowly, this love grows in our life and Guru Tattva Nityananda is showing that this love should be given to Krishna. And this love creation is Ananga's work. And the refinement of all my material senses, Ananga changes transforms this. Nityananda and Ananda. External Nityananda's Seva is Pratani of Krishna and internally sisterly of Radhika. This is the end of the chapter.
Again? material greed, material desire. Another life have a spiritual desire, spiritual desire to have relationship with super soul, with our Ishta Deva. And this, if we want to relationship with this material body, material desire, it brings us to material happiness and at material miseries. <clears throat> if we have relationship with super soul and our ishta death, it makes us become ananda. So this is material life and spiritual life, bodily consciousness and soul consciousness. So again, there is two ways. God consciousness and say Burajabashi consciousness, Buraja consciousness. God consciousness is like outside Buraja. They are thinking, oh, Krishna is God. Some, some is God. Means uh, we have a uh, uh, Always, uh, always reverence. God is high, we are very low. <clears throat> we may ask God for something like Amazon. God, I need wife, I need money, I, have, I need job. It's kind of mentality we may have. 
And here, Vrindavan is not God consciousness, Guru Deva explained. In Vrindavan, Braja, very typical thing is we have relationship with Ishtadev. Some person has a relationship with friend. Some person has a relationship with son. Go to become son. Some person <coughs> go to become my lover. Or some person become go to Dhamma Dasi, Radha Dasi. And this intimate relationship and Buraja Baba or selfless love, no Amazon consciousness. This selfless love, pure love, we can learn only in Brindava. And then say, why we are staying in Brindava? Because staying in Brindava, <coughs> our greed, spiritual desire, spiritual greed increasing. But one condition there. We need to associate Rashka Vaishnava, who has already tasted this divine rasa. And then, among the Buraja Baba, Buraja Rasa, <coughs> most highest Rasa is here said, Radha Dasha. <coughs> uh, to become Radha Dasi. <laughs> So here I say, <clears throat> this is the culture of Brindava. This desire has to run to Brindava, not in a member in the European world. Our outside world, we cannot have Braja Baba. Uh, a few a few months ago, uh, Satchinandana Baba was leading Shrimad Bhagavatam and Tenth Kanto. And Prabhupada was explained in Brindaba, Yoga Maya is pre, uh, predominant. Means Yoga Maya is controlling in this land. But outside Braja, Mahamaya is prevalent. So Mahamaya means to, to far away from spiritual consciousness, means to attach more or less material consciousness, bodily consciousness. Yoga Maya bring us to, to spiritual consciousness, the relationship with the Supreme Lord, our Ishtadev. So, our aim of life is to have relationship with Ishtadeva. Then question may come, what kind of relationship we should cultivate? What kind of relationship would, would, would I, would we like to have? And this Guru Deva is suggesting highest relationship, highest feeling, highest Baba coming from Srimati Radhika. And this feeling only can, only could taste Radha's maid servant. And this 
Radha's made servant to become Radha Dashi. If we become Radha Dashi, we could taste, we could feel Radhika's feeling or Radha's Mohan's feeling through Radhika. So this, this feeling is Mahaprabhu given, given to us. No other incarnation and no other age uh, is nobody tell like this. In this age of Kali, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and tells us. And this message uh, through Mahaprabhu and uh, come to Nityananda. Nityananda is Barara and also Ananga Manjari. Nityan Krishna Lila Nitai <coughs> is Krishna's elder brother Barara. He's taking care of uh, for Rasa. And as Ananga Manjari Nitai taking care of very intimate pastime and Radha Mohan in conjugal love. So this Ananga Manjari Radhika is almost the same because sister, you know, Radhika's elder sister, Ananga Manjari's younger sister. But the difference is sometimes Ananga Manji become like Radhika, kind of Naika, lover of Mohan. But also same time, he can serve as Manjari, as Saki to Radha and Mohan. And this Ananga Manjari expands many ways. All in this material creation, also expansion of Ananga Manjari. Even Krishna's all uh, paraphernalia also expansion of Ananga Manjari. Material world, spirit world also expansion of Nityananda. Gurudev also Nitai expand or Nitai give some power to, to, to some soul to help a conditioned soul. Radhika never go outside Buraja. When Radhika want to go to outside Buraja, Ananga Manjari go, means Nitai go. So, Antare Nitai, Bahire Nitai. So, Nityananda is very merciful to us and condition soul. And then, through the mercy of Nitai, we can uh, have this Baba, highest feeling, radical feeling, uh, Unnato Ujwaru Rasa. So, this is a very, very deep subject matter. So if anybody, if somebody can help us, it will be very grateful. Gora Chandra. Nothing coming to me today. Why is it important to come to Vrindavan? 
because everything, every one is favorable to grow loving feelings. Everything and everyone in Vrindavan is living in the feelings and can give you that feeling. There are so many personalities we can ask for their blessings to grow our loving feelings ourselves. <laughs> Recently I listened about five very powerful personalities. They can bless you with prema. I'm in class. Yeah. Mahadev. We go to Gopeshwar Mahadev. We ask him, please open the door to spiritual and Dharma for us. Give us the blessings to grow our bhakti. Vrinda mm. Devi, Tulasi Maharani, she can give blessings to us. <coughs> she is Yoga Maya. Here we want to be in control of the Yoga Maya, not of the Mahamaya. Kiriraj Govardhan, so merciful. We go there, we give Tandava, we do a paragraph, we celebrate Govardhan Puja like some days ago. So Giriraj also so merciful can give blessings to us. Yamuna Mai, River Yamuna. Down, full of motherly love for all devotees. Therefore, number five, <coughs> Sadhu, Guru, Vaishnava, the saints are living in Vrindavan. They can also give praying, they can also give the blessings. So if you want to grow your loving feelings, your love, your relation with the Lord, with Krishna, who is not God in Vrindavan, then you have to come to Vrindavan. And there are only the five but every tree is Kalpa Viksha, the dust of Vrindavan, you take it on your head, you will grow your loving feelings. So everything in Vrindavan is favorable for Bhakti. <laughs> Can I ask a question? I wanted to ask, like, as Radha Dasi, what relationship, what mood, what bath do we share with Radha? Like, is it a friendly mood or like a loving mood? So, the question is, what's the mood of Radha Dasi? Yes, yes, and uh, what's, what's the relationship?
इसे 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 हाउ मै आई सर इज दाउ मै आई सर is that the relationship question is what is the mood of radha dasi and how should i serve as radha dasi is it like this So Radha Dasi is like a maid servant of Shri Mati Radha Rani Swami. Generally speaking, little younger than Saki and Radhika, like eleven to thirteen years uh, younger uh, maid servant. Radha Dasi means maid servant. means helper shri madhira darai but also this maid servant is many aspect sometime radha dasi is friend of radhika sometime radha radha is like like mother maid servant is like a, uh, like a, like a daughter or might be sister was sent to sent a friend was sent to radhika as master swami and made servant but most important thing is oneness one same feeling with radhika make servant ideas how to put radhika come to manjari radha made servant and then especially kinkari without radhika saying anything without saying anything but manjari could understand and then she served and manjari is so selfless because as a saki if they have some chance they have they may desire personal meeting with krishna moha but manjari is case so dedicated for radhika manjari is no as a desire to please radhika no personal desire to meet krishna to enjoy krishna person no nothing that is that is so selfless so therefore manjari could feel even more than radhika say we have torasi torasi you know every day we are you know sakam ambreting torasi torasi flower is coming at first from down side manjari usually upper side wind is coming and then manjari upper side is more more for say more trembling more feeling so this is manjari is one of main main nature main feeling we cannot become radhika therefore to 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 get to, to taste radhika the feeling almost impossible but one only one way to become maid servant of radhika then we can feel what radhika feel feel feeling so and then how to learn this feeling we have to learn some who is radhika the maid servant like torashi manjari 
लगनाथ दास गोस्वामी लोट बीरा पक्ष मान जाए एंड ऑल्सो आवर गुरु मान जाए आवर गुरु मान जाए इज मेड दिया मेड सावंत बुलादिका ही और शी कैन शो अस हाउ टू डू दिस सर्विस सो मेनी टाइम आई वाज आई सम टाइम टॉकिंग से Sat years ago, maybe twenty-seven, eight years ago, one Goswami was telling to become manjari, to become maid servant Narika. We have to know how to serve. Yeah, that's true. But the question is how to know, how to serve, how to know the service, mood service. And amazingly. Our uh, Prayojana Chari, Dagnat Das Goswami, Lord Virapaks Manjari. This all describes how Manjari daily serving to Radhika. And amazingly, Ananda Gopal Goswami and Ananda Das, Go- Ananda das Babaji Maharaj. Was loved as share deeper meaning of service, deeper mood of service, deep deepest philosophy. Maybe I may not say philosophy. Deeper, deeper, deepest feeling for Manjari. All described in this Pirapaks Manjari. So therefore. Virapaks Manjari from Anand, of Anandas Baj Maharaj was best book to 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 learn Manjari Baba and to how to practice this Manjari Baba and of you know and then we need help of Acharya to understand go deep dive in this field so we need help. Of our Guru Manjari, our Sadhu Maharaj, or other Rashika Vaishnavas. So that is my humble answer. So, Murat, please help me. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. I only can repeat words of Guru Dev. He always give example of shadow. The maid servant kinkalis of Radharani, they are like her shadow. Wherever she is, the manjari kinkali is there. And the shadow has no independent or separate existence from the object. The purpose, the life force for their existence is to be with Radharani and to serve to Radharani. Jananda Maharaj, he described so many nuances of the relation between the Manjari and Radharani, but there is a foundation of that relation. And I think the Manjari are the most intimate confidential heart friends of Radharani. Nobody knows the innermost feelings of Radharani so deeply and like the Manjaris do. So if you see only like maid-servant, you know, like a servant, boss and servant relation, you may think there's no deep friendship included. It's like boss and servant relation. But 
It's deeper than that. They are so close. Radharani can share everything with her maidservant. Even she can share things with her maidservant that she not even can share with her friends that are in the same age like Radharani. So the friendship with Radharani and her Dasis is more close, more intimate, and more confidential than with her same age friends like Anita and Vishaka. In the same way, Radharani, she feels so much love for her little Dasis that surround her all the time like a, like a swarm of bees circulating a flower, no? so much affection, so much protection, and also they are so much needed and required for Radharani that she can meet Krishna. She needs so much help because there are so many obstacles and the maidservants are ready to do anything to help Radharani. In this hidden part of the devotion book, Narayan Maharaj, he, so beautifully he's writing what are the services that includes even lying, cheating, <laughs> carrying secret messages. Yeah. And uh, how to learn that mood? Uh, Jainanda Maharaj explains so nice. Raghunatha Askoswami in his Vilapusha he opened that for us. All services throughout the day, beginning from the morning, and are described there in detail. But if you want to summarize everything, then you can say that. Every service they perform is to increase or to fuel or to fertilize the amorous love between Radha and Krishna. They always uh, help to grow the passionate romantic love between Radha and Mohan. That is their purpose of existence. And in Vilapu Sumanjali there is one verse where Radharani is offering her friendship to one of her maidservants, to Tulasi. And Tulasi replied to that offer that, thank you very much. I take that offer and put on my head, but I only want to be your Darcy. That is much higher for me than to be your equal friend no? on the same level of friendship. No, I want to be smaller. I want to be more selfless, more humble. I only want to serve you. Shri Dhani. If some devotee could share, if some other devotee could share, oh, our Jalata. Thank you, Hare. 
I remember one time we asked Shula Gurudev, what is the difference between the Manjaris and the Ginkaris? Well, Gurudev explained that the Manjaris, they wait for their scheduled service, what they're meant to do each day. But the Ginkari, she's always saying, what can I do? What can I do? Always looking for service. Um, so when we read Radha Rasa Sudha Nidhi, we, we see that often um, uh, Nanta Das Babaji describes Sripad in his Kinkari form. And this is a question I, I had actually for Gurudev um, because we know that uh, Prabodhananda Saraswati is Tanga Vidya, who is one of Radharani's Sakis. Um, so, how is it that she's being referred to as a Kinkari? And Radharas Sudhani and Gurudev, do you mind answering that? In Radharas Sudhani, yeah. Yeah. So my understanding like this, Tunga Bita's eight Saki, especially Radha's Saki, and uh, in Chaitanya Dira, many uh, cross associate of uh, Brindavan Dira or cross associate of Radharani come and join in this Dira. And generally speaking, Saki has certain level of entering some certain place. And Saki could not enter very intimate place like Nikunja and Nibrita Nikunja or Amara's pastime in Radha Mohan, very private place. So I felt Saki was thinking, oh, this is a very private place. And sometimes they have some desire to know and feel this, like Krishna did. So, and then Chaitanya Lila and Chaitanya desire is to know, actually Krishna desire is to know the glory of Radhika's feeling, and uh, Radhika, only Radhika could taste Radhika, uh, Krishna's, Krishna's sweetness. And uh, Radhika want to taste, no, no, Krishna want to taste Radhika's this, uh, sweetness, or his tasting, what kind of taste. So, and then that means Chaitanya Mahaprabhu distributed this Radha's feeling, Radha Baba. And not only like this, he distributed this Manjari Baba, Baba Ura Sarasa. So similarly, some associate want to taste this similar Baba Ura Sarasa. And accordingly, so Prabhupada Saraswati also even he was Tunga Vidya, he also tastes some, some part of a uh, kind of uh, Manjari Baba, even though he is Saki. Like uh, we are discussing in, in uh, Ramadaya and uh, Mahaprabhu's conversation, uh, Chaitan Charita Murita, Madarira, 8th chapter. La, Ramandaya Sambhada. This also, Ramandaya, uh, Chaitanya Mapa was asking, uh, you know, very, very intimate feeling, beyond the, you know, Radha Krishna's pastime, no, not beyond, but the more deepest pastime. And then Ramandaya said, no, this is my, beyond my, my intelligence. Nobody asks these questions. And then 
And many times Ramana said, actually, I'm not talking. You are talking through my mouth. Yeah. So, and then Ramana was saying, actually, one thing comes into my mind, but this subject matter, it may be please or you may not please, I don't know. But but if you want to hear, let me let us you know like uh, let me share. And he described there is one subject, Pira Prema Virasa Vivarata. And he describes very, very intimate. Radha Krishna become one and then change the role of you know Rad, Radhika become Mohan, Mohan become Radhika. And the deepest feeling he disclosed. And uh, I was I was uh, you know thinking, oh my god, this Prema Birasa Bivarata, who could know? Saki cannot know. Only Manjari could know. So that means even Bishaka Saki, who is Raman Daya, it is said Raman Daya was. Bishakasaki, even Bishakasaki want to taste the sum of Manjari Baba. But uh, they are, you know, Saki identity. So they, they have some limitation because they have already, you know, but uh, they want to taste this Baba Ura Sarasa. So I feel, you know, even some other people want to taste. And the Mahaprabhu is so merciful, like Radhika. He could distribute, he could, he could distribute opportunity. Anybody could become, or could take this Baba Ura Sarasa. So they have to speak as associates also. If they want, so that's my honest feeling. Very, I was very like enlightened when I listened that first time of when Jayananda Maharaj explained that. No, yes, it's true. Vishaka Saki cannot see that. She cannot enter Nivriti Nikunja. She cannot see that most intimate pastime of Radha Mohan when they are dating. When they start dressing each other in opposite cloth, only Manjari can see that. But by mercy of Mahaprabhu, he gave that experience to Ramananda Roy, to Vishaka, and probably also to Tungavidya. Bless him to have experience of Manjari. Srivas Angam. And for everyone possible who had desire for that, everyone can in Gauravila can make that experience. The question is, it becomes their sty bath or not. Yeah. Maybe within Gauravila they have that experience. Even Narad Muni has a gobi form. To dance with Krishna. But not becoming his style bar. After Gauravila, maybe they go back to there. Uh, but that is speculation. No? I mean, from my side, I don't know. But it's my idea. No? They taste that, they experience that in Gauravila, but for them it not become style the bar. Permanent mood of Manjari. Uh, but I don't know. So Uttaba, Uttama. I don't know. Oh, our Goranga Sundara, please share your your feeling and your realizations. Ut yeah, Uttaba also. Yeah, with the mic, I'm not sure. Maybe Gorana Sundara, please share. 
give us some enlightenment. I'm so happy to listen all your sharings and to be in this way, in this association. Yeah, Jananda Maharaj actually and Gorachanda, they explained everything we have to deliberate and feel these explanations and properly understand each line of this explanation, actually. And I can refer to Gurudev's also words that all members of Panchatattva, they relish Manjari above. Advaita Acharya also relish Manjari above. Gadadhar also relish Manjari above. And like Gora Chandra said, Shiva Stakur also relish this Manjari above. This is the unique position of Gora Lila and all associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And this is eternal Lila. What does it mean eternal? That it goes from universe to universe to universe, unlimited materialistic universes. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going with his closed associates. And again and again and again in each <clears throat> material universe, they're relishing this Manjari Bhava and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because he cannot taste in one material universe, he cannot taste completely Radha Bhava. So he needs to go in another universe to taste more and more and more. In a similar way, he is tasting in one universe, he is tasting Manjari Bhava, but he is going in another universe to taste more and more and more. So, by his tasting, he is so merciful that he is giving this chance to all inhabitants in all material universes to taste Manjari Bhava and to choose if they really want that or not. So, like Jagatam, she asked the question about this Tunga Vidya or Prabhupada Saraswati, and we can conclude that only by Gora's mercy, Gora Kripa, someone who is in Saki Bhav can relish Manjari Bhav and become very fixed in that lila, in that moment, in these pastimes, in this universe, completely fixed in Manjari Bhav. So, this is the miracle, let's say, of Audarya of Goranga, that he can make Radha Dasi everyone. Not only jivas, jiva buddhas, but only his associates. And like Jayanandaji ma mentioned this conversation, famous conversation between Ramananda Roy and Chaitanya <coughs> Mahaprabhu, it's very clear actually that this explanation about Prema Vilasa Vivarta, when Radha and Krishna are completely confused, Vivarta, they're confused. But this is confusion out of Mahabhav, not even ordinary Prem. This is confusion of Madanakya Mahabhav. And Radhika's Madanakya Mahabhav entered in Krishna and then starts this mixture of identity and like Jananda Maharaj said, Radhika was thinking that she is Krishna and starts to speak and act like a Krishna. And Krishna started to think that he is Radhika. 
but very nicely is who is seeing that? Gorachandra very nicely said, only Manjaris. And now the question is where? In Nivriti Nikunja. Only in Nivriti Nikunja, these pastimes is happening. And only Manjaris, who are the shadows of Radharani, never separate in any circumstances, can witness this Prema Vilasa Vivarta. And in that way, now we are coming to the most important point is, only by Gora's mercy, this is the proof, Ramananda Rai, who is Vishaka, he could understand, feel, and say, and glorify this Prema Vilasam Vivarta through the mood of Manjari, not Vishaka Saki. <laughs> so, ultimate Siddhanta, ultimate conclusion is that impossible is possible, and that is possible by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In the Kali Yuga, where he appears. I just said that. <coughs> right. Beautiful. <laughs> 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 In Radharasa Sudha Nidhi, Prabodhananda Saraswati, that he's seeing himself, he's fully in, he's fully in um, Manjari Bhav. He's describing himself as a shadow of Radhika. And he, he's peeking in the Kunj, he, he, but he's not in the Kunj during their lovemaking. So it's Nikunja. It's not Nibrita Nikunja. But he's saying, he is actually, he, he is experiencing being a manjari. Otherwise, he couldn't write like this. Am I correct? He's actually absorbed in that manjari mood. He is, he is a manjari while he's writing this. He is a shadow of Radhika. Um, if I can say something before meeting the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Prabhupada Saraswati was not at all in the mood of Vraja what to speak about Manjari Bhava, Saki Bhava and so on But when he met Goranga, by his mercy, Prabhupada Saraswati changed the heart, or Goranga changed his heart. And what does it mean changing the heart? Changing the Baba. And from that moment, he immediately ran to Vrindavan and started to follow Vrajavasis, which is also mentioned here. How it's in, in these words of Utkalika, how it's important to follow the mood of Rajavasis. And by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was able to follow that mood. It's not that he only understood, it's not that only theoretically. He said, okay, Goranga appeared, now I have to follow the mood. No. He felt by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is no, no, no one else than Radhika herself. He felt that his heart suddenly changed and melt in the mood 
spontaneous mood of Rindavan. And Gurudev is, was speaking here, what does it mean, spontaneous mood of Rindavana? It doesn't mean philosophy, it doesn't mean austerities, it doesn't mean detachment. Vraj mood means attachment. In the mood, in the feelings of Vraja passes. And this kind of attachment exists only in Vrindavan. But to really receive the mercy of Vrindavan, we have to open the heart with full faith to Vrajavasis, unmovable, <laughs> movable beings. And Gurudev is saying, who are Rajavasis? Looking from outside, they're looking like uh, ordinary people. But we practice so much philosophy and austerities and Vaidhi principles, rules, regulations, religion, that we simply are not accepting that someone can speak a nonsense outside with his mouth, with his tongue, and still be deeply one-pointed in his bow. And the proof of that is Raghunath Goswami, who is saying, I don't want to hear the name of someone who is glorifying Govinda without Radha. I rather want to listen nonsense conversation between Rajavasis. So someone who, who has the blockages of knowledge, blockages of austerities, rules, regulations, I am able, I am allowed to this, I am not allowed to do that. Oh, and reverence, like we said, full of fear and hesitation, he cannot understand this mood. Because it's not a question of understanding. And this is the reason why many devotees want to become qualified. Because they have wrong conception. To become qualified means to understand that I am not a qualified. And that I will never be qualified. Then my heart is open to the feelings of Rajavasis. They are speaking gnosis, they are smoking, they are lying, they are stealing. <laughs> Isn't it? We, we all have the same experience <laughs> in the context of Javasis. But what they have in the heart, when we are driving with the rickshaw valley, we are looking how Indian guy is sweating because he is uh, bicycling or driving this, and he is shouting around and so on. But we don't understand his heart because we don't have the feelings of Rajavasis. And Rupa Goswami said, I don't have a spark of that treasure of love. In other words, he is saying, I'm not a qualified. I'm not qualified, but still, simply by constantly living in Raja, my hope is strengthened. And to live in Raja means to have a close association, at least with one Vrajavasi Rasik devotee. And it's very desirable, if we know our bhav, to have very close and attachment relationship, full with, with full attachment, with Vrajavasi, Rasik devotee, who is in that bhava which 
we want to attain. This is all bhakti, as I understood. And it's not easy. In one way, it's natural and easy. And on another way, it's not easy because we have so many blockages because of bad association. And Guru Devi say, you will never receive it in the West. He was saying here, Gaur Chandra was reading this. You will never receive it in the West. If you receive in Vraja and then go to West, this is another issue. Then you can live in Vrindavan, even in Paris, Munich, London, Croatia, or wherever. But attachment for Vrajavasi, Rasik devotee, in our desirable mood is the essence of all our Raga Nuga practice. Without this, without this attachment, maybe we can be detached. But Vrindavan will stay far away. Even if we are living in Vrindavan. I'm sorry. I took too much time. Thank you. By your association, I come to in, in my mind one thing. It is said, uh, according to Anandas Mahaj Maharaj, Prabhupada Saraswati was before big Mayabadi Sanyasi. And uh, one story was there. He was, see, he was seeing Mahaprabhu dancing, and then he, his heart melted. And before Mahaprabhu leaving, he approached Mahaprabhu and he said to him, Please, please, please take with you know, please, please take me with you. I can do whatever you like. I can be your servants to help you, you know, your traveling. So, and then Mahaprabhu, it is said, sent to, you no, know, I have already fixed your place. Please go to Buraja and do bhajan there. And you will get everything there. So I was thinking this, Prabhupada and Saraswati want to become servant of Goranga Mahaprabhu. So Goranga Mahaprabhu mood is radical. So if he want to be servant of Mahaprabhu in one sense, he want to be Dasi of Mahaprabhu, you know, is rather like. So he was by the association of Mahaprabhu, and his heart was melted. And uh, he completely tried to serve Mahaprabhu from the bottom of the heart. And then he wrote uh, Radharasa Sdhanidhi. And this Radharasa Sdhanidhi was very interesting. First verse, last verse. Glorify Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu means without Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy, we cannot to become Manjari or King Hari. And then he glorifies Mahaprabhu, his guru, and also Ishtadeva. And the invocation uh, in this Mangala Chara, he describes Mahaprabhu glory and also radical glory. Also, there is one more interesting thing is that, that 
Mahaprabhu chose the place of Bhajan for Prabhupada Nanda in and he was explaining one time that he gave him to Kaliyagat <laughs> to do Bhajan. What is the Kaliya? The thousands heads of the ego coming again and again and again. That place Krishna killed the ego, the Kaliya. So he put Prabhupada the big, big Mayavadi, <laughs> with the big, big ego, biggest ego. Yeah. He put to the Kaliyaga to do bhajan there. So only to live in Vandhara. I feel that everything has a meaning. Like they explain the Yamuna, the Govardhan. Gopeshwar Mahadev, Vrinda Devi, all they want to help us. And even where the sadhus choose to do bhajan, even that place, everything has a subtle, deep meaning. Why they go under this tree <laughs> to do bhajan somewhere in Braja Mandal. But we are so gross that we cannot catch that. But that was so interesting point, man. Kali Agat, why you go there? Yeah. And the, another thing, another interesting thing. Actually, this Kali pastime, it is, uh, I think, six years old in this, uh, this Boma Murina Mandira. Krishna did about six. And he, it is uh, actually, uh, he was dancing on the head of Kali. That is, you know, Gora Chandra say one meaning. You know, uh, we are smashing our ego. All, also, another another meaning, he's dancing and Krishna is showing the gopi. Now I can dance like this. Yeah. You know, we can, you know, I am now mature, one says, for dancing. You know, why don't you come and, you know, kind of, Mohan is dancing on the Kaya's, you know, head and then, Gopi was impressed seeing the, you know, Krishna's, and then more intimate Lila is happening. So this also, I think this, this, this meaning might be, you know, there. Yeah. So thank you very much, Nam. Arati time. So thank you very much for listening. So Gora Sundara, thank you very much for nice sharing and for, for listening. So thank you very much. <laughs>